everybody, my name is Markiplier and welcome back to 60 Seconds. This time, we're gonna win! I know what I need to do! Okay, so I actually have not been using my scouting time properly. I need to do one, scout the area, there's the radio right there, that- Oh, this is perfect! This is exactly what I need right off the bat, because I need- I'm salivating at the thought of the success that I'm about to have! Get it! I know, I know, I know. That. That. That and no room for that shit. Get this. Get it. Go, go, go. Okay. So what I've been doing wrong is I've been getting too much of the stuff that I don't need. This is a different distribution than I had before. Why is this over here? Why is this over here? I don't know why any of this is in the place that it is. It doesn't make any goddamn sense. But it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Gotta get my family members eventually, but I need to get the soup first. Okay. So the main problem that I've been having is that I've been getting the wrong things right off the bat. Okay, gotta get the rest of my family. Gotta get this can of soup. Gotta get that gas mask. Oh, I don't need the gas mask because I don't need to send anyone out before it's time to go out, but I'm gonna get it anyway. Where's my wife? Oh god, where's my wife? Where's my wife? Where's my wife? Where's my goddamn wife? Come over here, wife! Wife! Get that! Get that! Get it! Get no rum! What the frick? Ah, titties! Ah! In, 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 in! Okay, so. That could have gone infinitely better. That was not good at all. We didn't do anything that we needed to do. But we started off with the right things. We may be low on food, but with the Boy Scout manual, I've been told this, you can survive five. Five days in between food and it looks like we actually had more food down here than we needed before. I didn't get the map. It's so one of the things that I desperately needed was the map. And we found a can of soup down here, and also we found nothing else, so. So every five days, every five days, we can feed and water our people, because now that we have the Boy Scout manual, that leaves us some more leeway for what we need to do, and we have the deck of cards, which means that we have something to keep us occupied. Okay. Everyone's fine, everyone's gonna be fine, we need to- We don't need an expedition! Oh, what's that trickling sound? And why is the wall so wet? Are we about to get flooded? We don't have life preservers. Save the supplies, yep. Save the radio, gotta get the radio. This is already off to a bad start. I can tell that things are just about going to be bad for me in this environment! Either this is gonna be the world's shortest game that was ever played, or this is- <laughs> Oh man. Okay, everyone's still alive, good. Every five days, it's every five days. Got it. Okay, so every five days everyone gets one of everything. That's gonna make our rations last a long time. This is insane. We keep finding spiders everywhere. They're in our soup. They're in our water. We swear some of them keep coming back and they're bigger every time we see them. It can't go on like this. We need to wage war on the spiders. This better not lose me the Boy Scout manual because if it does, I'm going to send every one of my family members into the radioactive waste and have them die from death poisoning. It better have turned out good for me. Okay. Good book is a solution to any problem to any encounter. Got a bountiful one with plus one soup can. Everything worked out for the best. If there's anyone out there who can rescue us, it's the government! Since the government worked out so well for us last time, I say this family is on our own, and if you don't listen to me, then you're probably very sane, because I'm crazy! Listen to me, I'm the dad here, I think! Anyway... Hearing strange noises lately, is that coming from outside or is that something in the shelter with us? Could it be? We found nothing, we feel like we're going crazy. We should probably get busy with something to keep us occupied. I would have cards, but I'm playing on the game mode that causes problems! If one of us breaks the radio in our board- Oh god, everyone has gone insane. Wow, that was fast. Holy shit! I didn't know that was possible! I'm Seth! <laughs> we can live with them noises, right? We can even be friends! <laughs> so it's not weird that Timmy is now wearing a soup can on his head and pretends it's a helmet. Is it just innocent child's play? Or is it? Mary Jane started acting even more crazy than she usually does. She seems to be making a nest. Was it the soup? Boredom can really get to you in the shelter. It can lead you to dark places, trust us. Oh man. Everyone has gone crazy! Oh God, Dolores, leave this hellish hole. Dolores, go. Oh my God, everyone gone nuts. Oh, everyone's gonna wander into the wasteland. This is gonna be the shortest game I've ever played of this. Dolores, you get out there, you be good, and you bring back something or else we are all dead. 
and that is guaranteed. Go, Dolores! Leave your insane family alone in this hellhole! So Dolores is out, and while Dolores is out, everything can be- everything's gonna be fine! Everything's gonna be fine in the hellhole of insanity! The bunker of noise is in our head. When we opened the bunker door this morning to let in some fresh radioactive air, we discovered a small suitcase on our doorstep. There was a no note on it and the neighborhood seemed empty. Should we take a look inside? Of course! Why wouldn't we trust that? We'd be crazy not to. <laughs> oh, okay. Timmy doesn't look so good. Inside the suitcase, we found some soup, but yuck, it expired a long time ago. We're not feeling very well. Some of us spend the whole morning using the bucket in the corner. We're not accepting anonymous gifts ever again. Well, kids, this is going bad. This is going about the worst I've ever done something. We were suspicious and cautious, but after a few minutes of talking, it turned out it was just a group of old ladies. Oh yeah, these are the old ladies that are very bad and that wanted to rob us, but I strike first! I protect my own! You stop trying to beat down me! Oh, my gun exploded. What happens if the rifle malfunctions or we use all our ammo? Huh? What is the, why did the gun, why'd the gun break? Oh God, this is going badly. I'm just gonna rush to the end of this one because we're not gonna survive here. This is obviously not gonna go well. Oh, Dolores, you're back. You don't look so good. You found very little. In fact, you only found water. Okay, whatever. We're dead here. This is dead. <laughs> Timmy really outdid himself today. In a frenzy, he tore out all the pages from his beloved scout handbook and just transformed them into dozens of paper planes. They were flying all over the place, and although we tried to catch as many as we could, it really wasn't many. Most of them landed in soup stains and in the bucket. <laughs> Unfortunately, the pages we managed to rescue aren't of much use to us, the table consisting of contents and the chapter listing a hundred ways to properly take care of a scout uniform. Great! Everyone's dead. Everyone's gonna die this very night. Radio virus silent, we need news. Metal with it. Yeah, break the radio. Good idea. Leave it to Crazy Ted to break the- Yep, okay. Well, they're dead. And Dolores is just left there with her freaking skeleton. That is great. Everyone's dead, everyone's dead, everyone's dead, everyone's dead, everyone's dead, everyone's dead, everyone's gonna die, 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 die! The end! We all st- oh my god, Dolores. Okay. Obviously, that is not the end of this episode. I thought it was gonna go better than this, but that's not the way that we're going to have it. We're going to start a new game. This is a recipe in failure. That was the example of how not to succeed in the game, and this next one is going to be much better. It's going to be good because I'm gonna find everything that I need right off the bat. This time we're going to win good, like we should have in the first place, yeah. Let's survive the apocalypse now. It's not quite like Fallout the game, but when we have our family down, we're gonna laugh at each other forever, not go insane again, yeah. Let's start the goddamn thing. Ready, Freddy, ready, Freddy, ready, Freddy, get you, you might as well, you're big. Okay, here we go, here we go, okay. Got that? Oh, Timmy, what a perfect place for you to be. I'm just gonna dump you right in. Okay, that looks like the Boy Scout handbook. I don't know where the map is. I don't know where the hood is. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Get that. Those cards need that. Where's the frickin- There's the map, it's on the wall. Herner, Herner, Herner. Okay. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. There's a lot of soup in one spot here. Any of these? Okay. No room. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Dump those in there. Okay. Get the fire axe. That to the shelter. We can get one more. One more. One more. One more. Get that briefcase. 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 Get that. Get that. Get that. Get that. Get that. Ah, get it. Get it. Get it. Uh, yes. Yes, 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 yes! I hope I didn't forget anyone. Did I forget any of my important, important family members? No? Good. Okay, we got a lot of material in this one. We got a lot of material. Everything was laid out pretty much perfectly for us to get exactly what we need because we have the map, radio, flashlight, handbook. We have the axe, we have a suitcase, we have a gun, ammo, soup. We do not have a lot of water, but we have both the cards, checkerboard, and med kit, and lock and key. 
This is about the best that we could possibly get. We never thought we'd live to see a dancing cockroach. We still haven't, but we saw one that was nearly as big as a cat. The good news is they've probably scared off any rats in the area. The bad news is they're huge and will probably attack us when they get the chance. Okay, do not ruin the Boy Scout handbook. Please. Okay, good, it's still there. Good, 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 good. We dodged a bullet this time. That is, if a bullet was huge, hairy, had eight legs, and a glowing head. Hopefully we won't have to deal with them again. Okay. Good, 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 good. Okay, day five. It's feeding time, family. We only got enough water for another one of these. We gotta find more water somehow or we're going to be toast. I mean, soup has some water in it, kinda. We heard something about supply drops on the radio. This might just be what we need to survive. It's supposed to happen near our house. God damn it! It's... The only thing I don't have, the only thing I do not have is goddamn gas mask. Frickin' sack of shit. It, it planned that. It planned that. The commies planned that. When they bombed us, they knew I wouldn't have that. It's been a while since we showered. The smell in this tiny shell- Oh, this is where I shower with bullets for some reason. Don't know how. Don't know how that works. But I'm gonna rub gunpowder on me and we're gonna smell real good. Maybe. Dirty or not, it's the smell that's the biggest issue here. How do we deal with that? Yeah, all right, okay. You know what? Okay. It's okay. It's okay. All right. Our patience is wearing thin. We thought it would be a good idea to quick take a quick look outside to see if there was any trouble at the area. As we were about to spare a pair of animal eyes and their owner started growling and this is where the flashlight comes in because it's a puppy! It's a little puppy pooper! It's a pupper schnupper. It is a pupper schnupper. Listen to the little puppy schnuppy. Okay, decided to check what's coming for us with our flashlight and it's a poor puppy. Okay, so this is where everyone gets a drink. This is the last one we got, so we gotta start preparing for an exhibition. Oh, we didn't expect to get a phone call so soon after the atomic bomb drop. Here's phone ringing outside, someone should go answer it. Ted, you're up, buddy. Get out there, Teddy boy. You gotta show this family who's the head of the family. And you better not be sick, good. No need for none of that. But we still got no water. When we answered the call, we could clearly hear a gasp. Sound of Tell Valley. Okay, I think that's the twins. So them calling us is a good thing because I think there's probably an ending where we can do that. Favorite radio station stopped broadcasting when we tried other frequencies. Maybe we should treat Tinker with the radio to increase its range? No! I'm not gonna tinker with the goddamn radio! Frick that! Ah, oh, that's my radio! I'm not gonna do anything about that! We need that radio! I forgot that with the briefcase you can take a whole bunch of supplies to meet pretty much any scenario. So he's gonna take... How long will he be gone? It's a bit of a risk. I mean, I don't even know if there's a good idea to do this. But I have a funny feeling that he's gonna be more successful in bringing things back if he has these materials. So I'm gonna take a risk and we're gonna give them to him. He's probably gonna lose one of them. And it better not be the map. Can lose everything else, not the map. Don't lose the map. Oh crap, we're gonna die. We don't have any water. <gasps> Shit, 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 shit. Shit, 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 shit. Hey, because the flashlight went out, I would have lost it anyway, so at least I grabbed what I needed to grab. Shit, we're going to die. We don't have any water. Shit, there's no water here. We're dead. Oh, God, it's bad. We don't have any water. How did this happen? We are going to die real dead. It's real bad. Oh shit, we had such a good start. We are going to die. Oh no. <sighs> How did Ted die? Okay, you know what? I'm not sending Ted out anymore. And no, this episode is not over. In fact, uh, uh, Men in Black Flash! Hello, everybody. Welcome back to uh, 60 Seconds. This is the beginning of the episode, and we're going to do good this time. I hope we're going to survive real good. So here's the rub. I want to beat this game, but I'm a little baby. I'm a little baby who's new to the world, 
and I need to progress. And I'm going to progress because I am going to- why is everything falling over already? That's a little bit disconcerting for the state of everything that we're going for here. But anyway, okay. So I lowered the difficulty because what is- Why is the radio screaming at me to get a med kit? Is that- is that a hint for what we need? Probably. Okay, here we go. What, what- that wasn't the radio? What the hell? What the hell? Why was that not- not- not radio? Why was that not the radio? It was quite obviously the radio. What the hell? This is a bunch of bullshit. That's what this is. Okay, got those. That off the wall might as well. Lovely wife of mine. For some reason I can't grab the radio. Oops! Uh oh! Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh god! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> it threw him down there! <laughs> They're still alive down there! I threw my whole family down the hole! Oh man, they're alive! Wow! I didn't- <laughs> Whoa! Oh, and they're dead! Okay, never mind. Without Ted, they couldn't survive. Because how could they without their beloved father <laughs> leading them to victory? <laughs> they couldn't win. Oh man, I set the difficulty lower and I still failed. I'm gonna do this. I may be doing it on easy, but I'm gonna do this. We're gonna win and I'm going to survive. And this is where it all comes down to a father understanding the limitations of what he can do and doing what is necessary to keep his family alive. Okay, map, handbook, got it. Flashlight, tuba, good, okay. Okay, 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 okay. I think we got enough. I think we got enough. I think we got a lot of materials. We did good. We're okay. Let's see what we got. I think we got everything we needed. Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. That's a lot of stuff. That's a lot of stuff. I like a lot of stuff. Okay. All of us made it into this shelter just seconds before the blast. That was close. As long as we're all together, we can make it work down here. We got a gun, bullets, and extra water. Yes. And cards, med kit in the suitcase. Thank you, easy mode. Ha 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 ha. Okay, so we're low on food, but we got enough food to survive five days. 15, 15 days, which means that we can send people out with reckless abandon. We just got more food from the lovely people banging coconuts outside. Yes. Wait, we have three. Wait, what happened to our food? We had more food than that. What happened? We were discussing our plans for our first meal that didn't feature tomato soup when we heard the yell outside. We discovered they came from a small group of ragged survivors. They were a sorry sight and we weren't surprised they requested aid. We have plenty of water. We can spare water. We can spare you water. But nothing else. Don't even try to steal anything from us. Okay. Our visitors had problem finding enough words to express their gratitude. Many tears were shed. Aww. How heartwarming. We need to survive! Alright, so we're gonna send Dolores outside with the suitcase. I really, really don't know if the suitcase is any use. Shit, she needed the gas mask. God damn it! I f- we are not alone. There's a huge hairy bunny beast that seems to be hiding in one of the pipes. It's been poking its head out, eyeing our measly food stash. We can't let it get out. We can't let it be in here when we sleep. Uh, chop its head off, gun it down. I, I'm gonna prefer to gun it. Shooting a gun in a confined space is always a good idea. Especially at random bunny. Yep, the gun blew up. Our cans were saved. Too bad for the hairy mutant. Guess we're still on top of the food chain. Good for us. Damn, our gun blew up when we tried to shoot the thing. Of course it did! And I bet the axe would have blown into pieces. Would have caught on fire sporastically. Just magically would have blown to pieces. And Dolores better come back alive or else I'm going to be very upset. Hey! Oh! Oh! Dolores! Oh! You look good! 
ha ha ha! You brought two food back, which is exactly what we needed. Good, 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 good. And we got a med kit for you, so you're gonna be a okay. No worries about a goddamn thing. Ha ha ha! And just to keep everything in sync, we thought the phone calls. Oh, Timmy, run! Run, Timmy, run! Run, Timmy, get it, Timmy. Okay, Dolores is looking better. She's just looking a little bit tired. All that radiation just melted away. I'm just, just to keep everything in sync, I'm gonna feed everyone on the 15th tomorrow. So everyone is gonna get fed tomorrow just so things can stay in sync because I don't wanna have to worry about other people being fed at one point and then other people not. I'm just gonna get everyone fed tomorrow. Doink, 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 doink. Bink. Okay, who's gonna go outside? Uh... Yeah, okay. You're gonna get the suitcase, because I don't trust you with anything else. Oh, shit. Sleeping problems, we used up our med kit. God damn it. Oh no, someone's gonna go crazy! No? Okay, no one's crazy. Just everyone's gonna be tired. Okay. Time for eating! I don't know where Mary Jane is. She's been out a while. Oh, Mary Jane is back, and Mary Jane looks in terrible shape, but she found a lot of food, and that's what I like. Four cans of food. Might as well pack for another expedition. Timmy got back to the shelter from his expedition and looked fine, but it turned out he hurt his hand with a piece of rusty metal and the wound was infected. It doesn't look like it's healing up. We have to patch it with an axe? I have to cut his hand off? No, Timmy, no! Oh. Oh, I guess it's fine. He looks... okay. Timmy was very brave about the idea of cleaning up his wound with a heated axe blade. It was a bit painful, but as soon as it's over, the axe is in no shape to be used again, but Timmy seems much better. Oh! I thought we were gonna cut something off! Who should go outside? How about little Tim Tim? He did okay last time, why not this time? What could he bring? Could he bring the flash of light? Maybe nothing would be good for him. I can't really risk anything. Yeah, I'm gonna- I'm gonna give him nothing because I don't want him to lose nothing. Actually, maybe we shouldn't send anyone out on an expedition. We don't really need anything at the moment. And I want to make sure they get food before they go out because that might affect their survival chances. I don't know. Ah, oh, Delo- Ah, oh, Mary Jane, come on! Mary Jane starving, caught something nasty. God damn it, Mary Jane, why do you do that to yourself? Oh shit, everyone looks bad. I, I guess Mary Jane did miss out. All right, I'm just gonna feed everyone today and then cycle back on the 29th. So now 29th. Young woman dressed in white knocked on her door, told the story of her missing twin brother who's most likely held captive. She knows that we're good and trustworthy people and believes that we can rescue her sibling. If we do, she says we might be the beginning of a solid friendship. Okay, Timmy, we're gonna trust you with this one. Go! Good luck! Oh, you're back. Okay, you're still alive. Good. Let's see. The woman quickly called the group of friends and we set out for what turned out to be a successful mission. Finding the lost twin brother wasn't a problem. He was hanging on top of some antenna next to the fence trying to escape. In his duel with the bandit leader, he lost a hand, but the group quickly tended his injuries, thanked us a hundred times. Okay, that's good. Timmy's going outside. Timmy's taking nothing, because I don't trust Timmy! A group of doctors knocked on our door today requesting some supplies that would be helpful. We do have extra water. They offer a med kit, which would be unbelievably helpful if they did that, please! No. They didn't give us anything in return. Wonderful. Great. Glad about that. That is cool. Every new smell attacks our noses. There isn't much we can miss. So when a single brick fell from the wall, revealing a tight opening, our senses were immediately invaded by his... Should probably check that hole out and see what the source of the smell is. Yeah! Best not to ignore weird smells in the walls! And it was soup that I could spare, not water. We're fudged. We approached the hole cautiously. What happened next nearly gave us a heart attack. Some crazed rodent... ...pushed our radio... I'M ON EASY! I'M PLAYING ON EASY! I'M PLAYING ON freaking EASY! WHAT MORE DO YOU WANT FROM ME?! <laughs> oh, there's Timmy. <sighs> Mary Jane loves cards, back from the wasteland. Got three bottles of water! 
Good! We brought some strange looking people back to our doorstep. They claimed to be wizards and were willing to trade useful supplies for a few weird trinkets. After hearing them out, we decided to look around our shelter for the items they wanted. They were really ecstatic about purchasing old pair of socks, which had been lying on the corner for some time, living their own life. The wizards got them in exchange for a few bottles of water. One of them placed the socks on their ears and started to dance. They really wanted to sell us a radio! Yeah! I like this! This is cool! All right. This is good. 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 So I fed them on the 33rd, so that means the 38th is the next time that we send people out. Dolores, you're going out with nothing again because I don't trust. The army broadcast interrupted our breakfast. Geographical coordinates sign they're still alive. Okay, this is good. We got coordinates because we got a map. We got it. We got it. Okay. At a quick glance at the laugh gives us all the information we need with we'll a message in the bottle. This is good. This is good. Why is Timmy sick? God damn, why does everyone get sick? How do they expect us to be able to keep people alive? <laughs> Wasteland full of surprise, like this man on the other side of the door, knocking, claiming he's willing to offer a lot for decent ammunition. Shall we trade? Sure. Why not? What else do we have to lose? If he can give us a med kit, I will do things I never thought I'd do. Oh, okay. Well, that is not as good as I hoped it would be. And apparently Mary Jane is gone. What happened to Mary Jane? Did she run away? Mary Jane's sickness got worse and we, we weren't able to provide her with the medicine she decided to, to cure whatever she had on her own. Okay, that's another mouth that we don't have to feed. So long as I make it out alive because the army is right around the corner. Friendly soul on the radio was talking about a supply pack we lost. We got two water, one soup, and one amro. Yay. That is good. Boy Scout handbook. Yeah. Wait, we can try fixing the gun. Yay! <gasps> Did we fit the- Oh, we did! Timmy, we did it! You might be going out of your goddamn mind, but we did it! Yeah! Okay, and then the 43rd is when we get to eat and drink. Yeah, hopefully Dolores comes back. My wife, I think I love her still? Not sure at this point. Over a month in a hole. That'll do something to you. Oh no! We don't think Dolores is coming back from the surface. It's been too long. Shit. Well. That's not good. We almost forgot about this one time we shared some water with a group of people dressed in lab coats. Out of the blue, they came back today and administered, administered us some very healthy looking shots. So they were real doctors after all, we think. Oh, they gave us shots. Did it cure Timmy? Yeah, Timmy's just crazy now. He's not, he, he's not, he's not sick. Uh, let's have some celebratory food. I mean, it's just you and me, Tim, Tim, for the rest of life. Forever. This better pay out because god damn it, I haven't come this far to die. I came this far to survive. Oh boy, Lady Luck smiled on us. We won a vicious game of war. The man wasn't too happy about it, but he delivered on his promise. Okay. Before the world turned into an unforgiving dead wasteland, we were friends with almost everybody in our town, including the old man Jim, who would shamble around our street and often say hello. We wanted to visit him once, so he gave us an address that took us. Old man Jim is such a joker. Beers that he survived the blast since he's at our door right now asking if we want to buy a rock. Sure, I'll buy a rock. Hopefully this doesn't cost me the life of my only son. Ha 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 Wouldn't that be something? When he opened the door, we greeted old man with a smile. He was eager to show us a bag filled with rich choice of rocks and convinced us to take one for free for old time's sake. We agreed. Can't complain. It's good rock. Claim it brings us luck. We'll see something about that. Okay. All right, Timmy, you go out. You may be crazy, but I'm not sending myself. If anyone's going to die, it's going to be you and not me. Oh, Timmy, you're back. You look slightly tired, but at least you're still as crazy. Our supplies are scarce and our morale is low. You can almost smell the desperation in the shelter. We're pretty sure there's a small group of survivors nearby, mostly old folks from a retire home. It should be hard to borrow some of their supplies. They're old. No, I'm not going to steal. We got enough supplies. We're fine. We don't need to steal. Oh, Timmy, he was always a wild one. A shelter is not the best environment for a boy who's hell bent on running around until he can barely breathe. He really misses that. He asks if he go to the surface even for a short while. This sounds highly dangerous and irresponsible. Should we agree? Yeah, get out, Timmy! Get out! You freaking terror! Stay out! Timmy can sneak like a secret agent man, but that night might not be enough to avoid the band of raiders camp near our shelter. We can probably assume he isn't coming back. When we consented, Timmy almost hit his head on the ceiling. Probably because he's crazy. We figured that if he doesn't encounter any savages, mutated beasts, or killing mimes, he should be fine and back enough soon. 
Yeah, he's got the survival instincts of a crazy person. Heard a knock at the door this morning. We held our breath in fear, but we soon heard children's voices coming from outside. Turned out a voice of a pair of Girl Scouts. They offer a Boy Scout for a map. I've used the map. I've used the map. I've used the map in both contexts that I needed the map, which was for the radio, the government, and for the twins. I need that book. I need that book. And Ted is a-okay to stay in here for as long as he needs to. He's got no family left, but he was never a family man. To, oh, he's gone crazy. The other day we heard a quiet knock at her door, but when we opened it, it was only a suitcase, no one around, signaled, looked at the, okay, sure, it could kill us, but whatever. I, I'm a trusting kind of guy. Yep, it was sick, yep, bad soup. Good, 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 great, 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 bad soup. Uh... We were about to sleep when we heard scratching from the door. At first it sounded like an angry rat, much worse. Something is on the other side, we need to act. Lock the damn door! At least the lock is gonna be useful, gosh. We didn't think a small padlock would be enough to stop him, but it turned out to be enough to discourage the unknown attackers. It seemed that they gave this whole break-in a fair shot, but ultimately gave up and left. Too bad the padlock is in no shape. Great! Time to eat, crazy sick person, you! Afraid the army wouldn't get back to us, but they eventually did. The next transmission was full of excavation. evacuation promises, but it ended on a big if. The speaker requested that any survivor groups armed with firearms should dispose of them before they get rescued. We don't know what this is about, but it sounds like violating our rights. On the other hand, are there any laws left? No! I'm not giving up my gun! You screw you! That didn't go out well for me last time! Eat a dick, government! We decided to ignore those stupid orders. Who are they to tell us what to do? The US government? Well, they probably are, but that doesn't mean they can take our gun over our dead bodies! Well, Ted's going down. Ted ain't doing good. Bandit camp nearby, not only are they armed, dangerous, cruel, and bloodthirsty. Fine! Go get him, Teddy boy! Bang! Boom, bang! Bang! Boom, bang, bang! Tried our best, but they had numbers. We didn't even manage to reach the supplies. The camp was too well guarded. That, uh. Yeah, go get him! Go get him, Teddy boy! Go get him! You the man! You the man, Ted man! At least you're still alive, I guess. Oh, we bravely stormed in, but no one was there. We took a soup can. Uh-oh, we lost a soup can. Ted Oz always had a heart of gold. That's why we weren't really shocked to find him feeding our supplies to some disgusting fat cockroach. Both Ted and the bug seemed really happy, so we didn't manage to stay mad for long. Although when Ted started sharing jokes and life stories with the cockroach, we <laughs> began- We became a bit suspicious. Oh, dead corpse of Dolores! I think your husband's cheating on you with a cockroach! Ha 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 Another radio broadcast from the military was a huge shock for us. Not only did they postpone our rescue, they also ordered all survivors to get rid of their firearms. Are they nuts? How are we supposed to defend ourselves? It better be worth it. No! I'm not giving up my damn gun! It didn't work for me last time, you're not gonna make me do it now! So screw you and your freaking face! Up oh, there we go! I guess we died from sickness finally! God damn it! We survived for 68 days! How were we supposed to survive any longer? I tried. I really tried. I need to look up guides on this because I am trying my freaking best. Was I supposed to give up my gun? I don't know. It didn't work out last time. It said the government quarantined us. What a load of ass. So this is the end of 60 seconds for now. I'll do another episode where I'm going to beat it on normal. So I'm gonna- I'm good. I'm good at this. I'm gonna show you guys who's good. This guy. So thank you everybody so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye! We just so happened to have a surplus of water, so I am a-okay with trying this bottle of water. Place. I don't have a butt to shake anymore on the dance floor, but uh, if any of you guys meet me in public...